In the beginning, the universe was a searing ocean of light and energy. A few minutes after the Big Bang, the first atoms were born. Simple ones. Hydrogen, the lightest and most abundant element, and a dash of helium. These two made up almost everything. But where was everything else? The carbon in our bodies, the oxygen we breathe, the iron in our blood, none of that came from the Big Bang. It had to wait for something far more dramatic, stars. As the universe cooled and gravity pulled gas together, stars ignited. Deep inside their blazing cores, a quiet alchemy unfolded. Through nuclear fusion, hydrogen atoms fused into helium, releasing enormous energy and light. As stars aged, they began forging heavier elements, carbon, oxygen, silicon, and up to iron layer by layer like an onion. But fusion had its limits. Once a star reached iron, the process halted. Why? Because fusing iron doesn't release energy. It consumes it. Then came the universe's great fireworks, supernovae. When massive stars ran out of fuel, their cores collapsed, triggering colossal explosions. These supernovae were element factories, smashing atoms together with unimaginable force, creating gold, uranium, and other heavy elements in the chaos. In their death, stars scattered these treasures across space, seeding the universe with raw materials for new stars, planets, and eventually, life. Even more exotic were neutron star collisions, the cataclysmic smash-ups of ultra-dense stellar remnants. Recent discoveries show they, too, forge precious heavy elements in violent bursts, spraying the cosmos with the ingredients of worlds. When you trace it all back, you realize something staggering. Everything we touch, everything we are, comes from this cosmic process. The calcium in our bones, the phosphorus in our DNA, the gold on a wedding ring, all were born in stars that lived and died billions of years ago. We are, quite literally, stardust. And as we look out at the night sky, we are not just gazing at distant points of light, but at the ancient forges that made our existence possible. In every sense, the universe lives within us.